Good day guys. Okay, today I'm going to um, demo the prop list and show you how to move props from within the list. So we'll go to design mode and navigate to the house. And I've already um, p been playing a bit this morning. So there's a couple of rugs. Well, there's a few props in here. Uh, but we're going to look at the rugs. We'll add a rug. And then line it up against the wall. Um, similar to the ones that I have up there. Right now, if we, we can see that the list is populated. And the last two items are those red rugs. And uh, we can select now. Um, you don't have to just click on them. You can select a prop right from the list so that's handy and it doesn't make them jump or move like if I clicked on one of those two rugs right there on the wall it would pop off the wall and then I'd have to um, play with the Z to get them back up as close as I have them right now so let's uh, make another rug right now we can't clone which um, I'm sure is coming, but um, as of today we can't clone. And you'll notice that um, as I scroll up and down, different props appear in the uh, preview box there. And uh, it, as far as I can figure, it's the bottom prop. Like right now, the bottom prop was, and that one there's the rug. And it's really thin because it's sideways, like it is a flat prop, so it looks, it's not displaying it very well in that preview menu. It didn't show up in the uh, in the prop list, as you can see. That's something they'll have to work on. Um, the roundabout there is to um, let's try just um, checking again. No, that doesn't work. And you'll notice the publish changes now instead of save. It's much more clear. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. And we're back. And in theory... Well, at least I'm hoping that uh, in the uh, prop list now that uh, third carpet has been populated. But in fact, it hasn't. So let's pop out the transport. This window, I notice, takes a little longer today to render, but here we are out in transport, and we'll head back, going in design mode, navigate back to the house, and I think it'll be in the prop list this time. And there it is. Okay, so you still got to select, um, use that double arrow thing to activate the selection tool, but there you can see uh, right there at the top is your X, Y, and Z for position, and the next one right below it is your um, rotation. So you got position, rotation, and scale, same order as uh, over in other verse. So there I've selected uh, that first carpet, you can see it. And they also, they reduce the line. It's not so uh, big and fat, and I like that. Thank you, guys. There's the second carpet. And there's the carpet we're going to play with today. So to get it to line up like the first or second carpet, we have to tweak the rotation, which is the second line of X, Y, and Z. So let's look at that first one, and you can see that my Y and Z are 270 degrees. So we put 270 in the Y on this one. And it rotates it, and 270 in the Y and the, uh, in the Z. And we get it orientated the same way as the other ones. But you see, I've I'm trying to just uh, position it by grabbing it on the Z and pushing it up against the wall. I can't get that close. So I'm looking at uh, the second one there. And 
my Y was seven, so I'm setting my Y to seven on the, this new carpet. Actually, it's point seven. And um, instead of typing all that in, I'm just going to highlight it and Control C to copy it, and then I'll paste it here on the third carpet. Well, I dropped it. Try that again. There we go. And I, I just added one point or one to that uh, Z to shove it over or to the X to move it over a little bit. So we'll save that. run back out see how that looks and there you have it okay we'll see you soon